Today is Monday after the Epiphany. On this day in 1970, the Marish brothers began the village of Hope Villa in Nigeria to care for people who lost limbs in the, that country's civil war. Let us pray today for the students, faculty, and staff of Guadalupe Regional Middle School in Brownsville, Texas, and for Marish Schools and Ministries in Nigeria. Let us also pray for those in our school whose families are dealing with the death or illness of a loved one. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Grant, we ask, Almighty God, that the nativity of the Savior of the world, made known by the guidance of a star, may be revealed even more fully to our minds, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever, Amen. St. Marcia and Jambania, pray for us. Mary, good mother, pray for us, and let us remember to pray for each other. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning. Today on CCNN Live, gas prices are projected to drop this year. And Justin Timberlake is singing about coming back to music. CCNN Live starts now. Good morning, Columbus. Today is Thursday, January 11, 2013. I'm Michael Bonas. And I'm Evan Bannon, and these are your announcements for the day. Seniors, some colleges to which you have applied uh, may want a mid-year report. Check out the college website in your application status account to see if one is needed. To have a mid-year report sent, go to Edline, print the mid-year report form that may be found under the guidance and senior sections. Take that form to Brother Angelo as soon as possible. If your application to any college has been deferred, it is recommended that you have a mid-year report sent to that school. There will be pizza sold next to the gym to support the soccer team. Also, please come and support the soccer team as they take on Ferguson in a huge district matchup at 4, and there's a JV tournament at 6. If you're interested in playing tennis this year, tryouts will be held on Monday, January 14th at 3 p.m. on the tennis courts. If you were not on the team last year, you must attend medium and must attend. Medium and large PE shorts are now available in Brother Kevin's clothing store. Now here's Gabriel Gonzalez with your weather. Thank you, Michael. Good morning, Columbus. I'm Gabriel Gonzalez with your weather for today. Now let's take a look at today's conditions. As you can see, the temperature outside is 74 degrees with a relative humidity of 74%. We might have 9, 9 mile per hour winds coming from the southeast, but we should be good. Now let's take a look at today's radar. As you can see, the sky is clear. We should be good for the day, play sports, anything. But there might be a little wind to push away the clouds, so we should be good. So let's take a look at the five day forecast. Today, we got an average of 10% with a high of 82, low of 72. And on Saturday, we got 10% chance of rain, high of 81, low of 72. And on Sunday, to top off the weekend, we got 10% chance of rain, high of 80, low of 70. Stay tuned. After the break, here's Philip Boots.
today in news, while the fiscal cliff was avoided only narrowly, the issue of the debt ceiling is still looming without any effective solution in sight. The latest suggestion comes from Edward Kleinbard, a law professor specializing in taxes. His idea to pay people such as federal contractors, workers, and even taxpayers due refunds with the government's IOUs called scripts. Basically, the government would pay, pe would pay these people when they had the money with no guarantee, other than we'll pay it off eventually. Good news for all you drivers out there, the Energy Department predicted that the price of gasoline will drop this year. Forecasters say ample oil supplies will increase American oil production, more fuel-efficient cars, and, and low U.S. demand that will drop prices 5% to an average of $3.44. The prediction does not account for other factors like Middle Eastern tensions, refining, refinery problems, or hurricanes along the Gulf Coast, which can increase oil prices so far in January. Gasoline prices average $3.30 a gallon. Meanwhile, another, sh another shooter rocks a California high school. The shooting occurred at Taft Union High School in Taft, California. According to the sheriff of the town, a 16-year-old student entered a science classroom around 9 a.m. with a 12-gauge shotgun. The student shot one of the students before shooting and missing another. Teachers evacuated the students out of a back door and were able to engage the shooter in conversation and calm him down. The sheriff believes that the two students were intended targets. The two students were reportedly injured, but there were no deaths on the scene. That's all the news. I'm Philip Boatsma. Now to a quick word from our sponsors. morning Columbus happy new year and happy Friday this is Mr. Morris with the intramural update next, the next intramural activity is intramural dodgeball now intramural dodgeball is for everybody freshmen through seniors the freshmen and sophomores will play against each other and the juniors and seniors will play against each other as well we'll have our first uh, competition next Thursday on the tennis courts proper dress is, attire, uh, is required in terms of uh, gym clothes, and you must have tennis shoes to be to, to play. You cannot play in your school shoes. The sign-ups will be in Maso 2 today and all the way through next Thursday. Come by, pick up a form. You, the more you have, the better. At least 11 guys is suggested. The more you start with, the better chance you have. So intramural dodgeball begins next Thursday. Pick up your sign-ups in Maso 2. Have a great day. And we're back. The 2013 Oscar nominations have already been announced. To find out a few, let's go to Andrew with entertainment. Thanks, Evan. Oscar nominations are in. Yesterday morning, for the first time in 40 years, the host of this year's Oscars, Emma Stone and Seth MacFarlane, participated in the Academy Awards nomination announcement. Steven Spielberg's Lincoln led the way with 12 nominations for Best Picture, Director, and many acting honors. Life of Pi was the next with 11 nominations, followed by Les Miserables and Silver Lining Playbook, with nominations each. Skyfall, surprisingly not a nomination for the Best Picture, still had a great Thursday, picking up five Oscar nominations. The most ever for a James Bond film. Other subs did not fare so well, as The Hunger Games earned zero nominations, and Ben Affleck, and ben Affleck director of the best nominee, Iran hostage thriller, Argo, shockingly, could not get the nod. The 85th Oscars will take place on February 
24th at the, at the, excuse me, at the Moby Theater in Los Angeles. Justin Timberlake may be planning to bring back his music career. Over the last few years, Timberlake has concentrated heavily on his acting career. He has been in several movies, including The Social Network, Bad Teacher, Friends with Benefits, and Trouble with the Curve. However, yesterday, Timberlake posted a video on his website showing him walking into the studio, putting on his headphones and saying, quote, I'm ready, end quote. Timberlake said that he obsesses over his music and that he does not want to put out music that, will be, that he doesn't love. He also said that the music you love is something that you have to wait for. Justin Timberlake hasn't released an album since 2006 when he won a Grammy, but only time will tell if Timberlake can rise to the occasion with another Grammy winning album. That's All Entertainment. I'm Andrew. Back to you. Some late news has been released on the death of Junior Sal. Stay tuned after the break. Climb out of this boat of men Under the crashing waves To step out of my comfort zone Into the realm of the unknown Where Jesus is I can't feel the pain of the night I can't feel the pain of the night Good morning, Columbus. I'm Danny Villanueva with your sports for today. In some NFL news, the National Institutes of Health concluded that the late Junior Seau suffered from chronic traumatic encephalopathy. CTE is a type of brain damage that also has been found in dozens of deceased former football players, including the subject matter of ongoing case between the NFL and the Players Association. Gina Seau, Junior's ex-wife, told ABC, quote, it's important that we take steps to help these players. We certainly don't want to see anything like this happen again to any of our athletes, end quote. There is no word of whether or not the Seau family is going to join the side of the Players Association against the NFL. In some college basketball news, the Miami Hurricanes defeated the North Carolina Tar Heels yesterday by a score of 68 to 59. The Canes were led by forward Kenny Kaji, who, who had 18 points to go along with nine rebounds. Julian Gamble chipped in with 14 points, and Durant Scott and Shane Larkin each had 11. The Canes are now 2-0 in the ACC Conference play and improved to a record of 11-3. Miami faces the Maryland Terrapins this Sunday in another conference matchup. In some NBA news, the Miami Heat dropped another loss to the Portland Trail Blazers last night by a score of 92-90. Ford Chris Bosh led all scores as he racked up 29 points, LeBron James was held in check as he only scored 15 points despite getting the 10 rebounds as well. This is the first time James has not scored at least 20 or more points since the start of the season. The Miami Heat will continue their West Coast road trip as they face the Sacramento Kings on Saturday. As for me, Danny Villanova, up in the sports booth, stay tuned. Ah, gentlemen, good morning. Whew. Oh, I'm so tired after that long run chasing the ice cream truck. Woo, yeah, yummy, yummy. Gentlemen, anyway, we have January 12th, the Colin Martinez Memorial 5K Run and Fun Walk. It's going to be at Tropical Park, 7.30 in the morning. Make sure you sign up beforehand so you can get yourself a T-shirt. The cost is $25 for adults, 
$20 for students 18 and under. That means you guys here at Columbus, if you wait till race day, you, there's no guarantee you'll get a shirt, and it will also cost $30. So we hope to see you guys there. You can sign up online on the Columbus website, and there will also be some people in the cafeteria where you can sign up for the race as well. Hope to see you guys all out there, and uh, make sure you'll be chasing me down, all right, because I'm running pretty fast that day. You better watch out. <laughs> faculty member who wishes to have a message aired on TCNN, please email your announcement to Columbus News on your Outlook address book. Attention freshmen, your class trip to Disney's Magic Kingdom is Saturday, February 2nd. Permission forms are on Edline or Mystery Borrow's room in C23. The cost of the trip is $110. The deadline is January 25th. If you want school sports updates, you can follow us on Facebook at CCNN or on Twitter at CCNN Live. To receive Twitter updates on your phone, text follow space at sign CCNN Live to 40404. ROCAP and History Club members are reminded to be in C21 at dismissal for your weekly meeting. Your assistance is needed to plan this semester's activities. Students who are interested in history and community service are also welcome to the meeting. From, from all of us here at CCNN, have a great day, Columbus.